Everyone has a story, and this is mine. Everyone has a story, and this is mine. Everyone has a story, and this is mine. Uh, everyone has a story, and this is mine. Everyone has a story, and this is mine. Everybody has a story, and this is mine. Everyone has a story, and here is mine. My name is Marie Almeida. I attend Turpin High School. I plan to attend Miami University in Oxford, Ohio to study journalism. Okay, so I was born in Venezuela, Caracas, and I was born with a disability um, called uh, cloaca malformation. I came to the United States when I was nine years old uh, in search for better medical care for me and my family decided to move here for the sake of my health and for the future. And some of the challenges that I had to overcome was the language barrier, leaving my culture, leaving my family and my friends, and just adapting to my new reality. My name is Samantha Hart. I go to Fairborn High School. I am going to University of Cincinnati and I'm majoring in pre-physical therapy. Both my siblings have genetic heart mutations that cause them to need internal defibrillators so their heart can be put into a funky rhythm and different things can happen where they need shocked. Um, both of these mutations were, were from both parents. I do not have this condition. So with this condition, both of them are not allowed to play sports. They are restricted to have to keep their heart rate under 150 at all times. So it's very hard to tell a 14 and 13 year old that you're not allowed to play sports, you can't go out and run. So it's been very difficult to have to watch them have that taken away from them. Uh, my name is Dominic Roeder. Um, I go to Springboro High School. Uh, I'm 18, turning 19 in this next month. And I plan to attend uh, Miami University and I'm going to go get my master's in political science, a double major in economics and uh, history and a minor in pre-law. My parents, they're always gonna be my parents. They're great people. But you know, like everybody else, I think everybody has some family issues that they have to go through and I definitely had to face that um, head on really. You know, it, it has been a hard year of, you know, 48 hour work weeks and you know, not being able to do the things of a normal high schooler. You know, take, you know, filing taxes for the first time, doing things as an adult that you don't think you would have to do at 18. But, you know, I overcame that and, you know, with the help of some great people who've been able to help me along the way, um, I've been able to overcome that, so. Um, I'm Sydney Stone. I go to New Lebanon, Ohio, uh, Dixie High School. Um, I will be attending Miami University and I am undecided currently. Uh, I was really young, uh, my parents divorced and um, I was so young that I don't really remember a time when they were ever really together. And then uh, shortly after that, my mom was diagnosed with uh, stage four ovarian cancer. Um, so I kind of had to grow up uh, very quickly and just learn how to be a support for my family. And um, when I was 12 years old, my mom, unfortunately, she passed away from ovarian cancer. Um, and I just had to learn how to grow up and kind of be uh, the shoulder for my family and just embody a lot of strength with my family and also rely on them for strength. My name is Marcella Palak and I went to the Summit Country Day School and I plan on going to UC and majoring in biomedical engineering. My father left my mother, my sister and I um, at the age of 12 and my age of 12 and um, it really impacted them a lot and also myself. At the beginning, I had no idea why he left. I was only 12. My mom didn't want to tell me. She tried to shield me everything from him. I knew him as the fun dad, the dad who took me to fishing, dad who took me out to frog hunt. And, and then one day he suddenly started going away. And then one day he just, started, he just didn't come back. Um, he also, when he was with us, he also had substance abuse problems and he couldn't keep a very steady job. Uh, my name is Adifta Ali and I went to Connor High School. Uh, I plan to go to University of Cincinnati uh, to study mechanical engineering. Uh, as a child, I was brought up in a small uh, town in Kenya. Uh, uh, you know, growing up in a third world country uh, was challenging uh, as we didn't have the 
basic human needs uh, such as electricity, clean water. Uh, but I knew through education uh, I could overcome it. Uh, uh, after fleeing the un unbearable uh, uh, civil war uh, from Somalia, uh, we went to Kenya as refugees and the Kenya uh, welcomed us uh, with open arms. Uh, my father uh, moved here before, before us. Uh, he applied uh, some visas for educational and then uh, we, we, we were to it like two years and the whole process takes a, uh, a lot of time and uh, I was excited uh, when we received our visas. Uh, I knew like I will have a better education, a better opportunities and I can uh, help uh, other, other people like me. Uh, my name is Glenna Hilton. I attend Aiken High School and I plan to attend the University of Cincinnati majoring in political science in the fall. Um, the first adversity that I overcame was when I was 11 years old. My mother had passed away unexpectedly from a heart attack and left behind me and my two little brothers with their father. Um, seven months after that, he remarried and decided that he didn't want to take care of me anymore, even though he had my entire life, signed my birth certificate. So I moved in with another family that my mother had known very well. And um, I would say that they took me in and it was definitely hard at first, but after a while it became my new normal. And then um, recently I was very depressed. So I had to find my way out of that and into my new chapter of life, which, is, which was graduating and going to college and be, being on my own. Anna O'Connor, I go to Liberty Bible Academy. I plan to go to Northern Kentucky University and study nursing. When I was 12 years old, I was diagnosed with aquagenic urticaria, which is a water allergy. And as a swimmer, that was a really tough thing for me to deal with. Um, I would go to practice and my skin would break out in hives and I would just get this horrible um, allergic reaction every time I was at practice or meets. And um, it really isn't something that is studied or um, known and so it's kind of a mystery. <laughs> and there's only about um, 30 people in the world I think that are diagnosed with it. So. It's very rare, and there's not a lot of research on it, so they don't know exactly. It's kind of trial and error.